Notar que eu posso, tipo, dar um ali, um insight pra você te explicar alguma coisinha que talvez seja um pouco mais difícil de você entender, eu vou interromper aí e falar em português, tá? Mas a conversa a gente vai lidar e a gente vai levar tudo em inglês. Because English is the language of the world, right? You need to learn that. Você precisa aprender essa língua, então bora destravar, ó. Já vou chamar ele aqui, ó. Deixa eu ver se eu consigo. Chris. I sent you a request, okay? I have just sent you a request. When you're ready, you just need to accept it. Você só precisa aceitar aí e a gente já começa. Fechou? Eu vou colocar meu óculos aqui, senão eu não consigo nem ver ele. Hey, man! Hey, what's up, buddy? I'm great, and you? I am pretty good, just trying to clean this dirty camera. Nice. Good, no <laughs> problem. So, tell me, where do you live? I live in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, really? It's uh, in the like central southeast of the United States. That's nice. Did I tell you where I live? I don't remember. I'm gonna guess that you are in Sao Paulo. Perfect. How did you really? know that? Did you I don't know. look at my profile? <laughs> I just have a feel like most. I think most of the people, most of my Brazilian. Um, Followers are from Sao Paulo, so I just guess. Oh, that's it. So I'm from Sao Paulo. So Paulista mesmo. So aqui brasileirão. And let's get started. So first, can you introduce yourself? Can you tell us how you became a teacher and everything? Sure. Uh, yeah, so my name's Chris, and I became a teacher just because I'm like a giant nerd. Like I'm <laughs> really, really <laughs> nerdy. I'm a nerd. And I'm a nerd. Yeah, I started teaching like four years ago, and um, oh, there's somebody from Norfolk, Virginia. Nice. Um, oh yeah, I know him. Uh, he's very, he's a cool guy. Oh, cool, nice. Um, but yeah, I just I like languages and I like people, so I was like, why not? So I thought it was cool. I thought it was a good idea. That's it. What about you? Aprendeu inglês, aí ele sempre gostou de línguas, ele sempre gostou de pessoas. Então, ele decidiu ir aí e partir para o inglês também. Very nice, man. And how many languages do you speak? Do you speak English in another language or just English? Uh, gosh. Whenever people ask me this, I'm like, okay, when you say how many do you know or how many do you <laughs> speak? Like, like, I always feel like there's like a scale of like how well you can speak that language. So I speak Spanish pretty well. After that, I know Portuguese pretty well. Um, some, I'm learning some Russian right now. I know a little bit of Farsi and a little bit of French. Perfect. That's good, man. I know Portuguese. I speak English fluently. Uh, Portuguese, and I learned English here in Brazil. I didn't need to go on an exchange or I didn't need to travel. I learned everything here. Então eu falei pra ele, galera, que eu aprendi tudo aqui. Em inglês eu aprendi no Brasil. Não precisei fazer intercâmbio, nem viajar. Consegui me tornar fluent here in Brazil. Very nice, man. So, can you introduce us the topic that we're gonna talk about? Sure, yeah. So, today we're gonna talk about reductions. Um, a reduction is basically, like... Uh, There's the way that people teach you to speak in school, probably, and it's to say the full version of every word like I'm doing right now. But people don't always do that, especially when you're watching your favorite series or a movie or something like that. Um, okay. So it's just when you like combine words together, more specifically, I guess it's connected speech, um, like connected reduced speech, yeah. That's it. Então, galera, a gente vai falar, que nem ele explicou agora pra gente, a gente vai falar sobre reductions, ou seja, sobre contractions. Ou seja, você talvez aprenda aí na escola, se você já estudou em alguma escola, muitas das vezes é aquele inglês tipo I am, you are, they do not, they don't, right? Mas no inglês falado, quando você tá, tipo, assistindo séries, por exemplo, quando você tá falando inglês, geralmente as pessoas, elas usam a forma contraída. Então, é a forma informal da língua, tá? Tipo, não vai falar de forma formal as contractions. Mas, vamos começar aí. Eu vou começar com a primeira aqui que eu peguei, fechou? E que é a, a contraction shooter. Shooter. For example, if I say, I should have called you before. I should have called you before. I should have called you before. Então, o que, que é isso? I should have. Seria mais ou menos como se fosse o should have. 
Ou seja, se eu quero falar, por exemplo, meu, eu devia ter te ligado antes. Então, eu posso falar, I should have called you before. I should have. Então, em vez de falar, I should have, você pode falar, I should have. Porque seu inglês vai soar bem mais natural. It will be natural and fluent, ok? That's good. So, that's, that's the first contraction, should have. Do you have any other ones to tell us about? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna highlight one of the ones that I already saw in the comments. There's trying to becomes trying to. Trying to. Perfect. Um, or if you are really, really going for like a super like reduced thing, you could say trying to. Uh, so, for example, I could say I'm trying to study. Please be quiet. Trina. 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 Whenever you have a TR combination, you can change it to a CHR combination. Trina. That's it. So if I say, for example, I'm trying to study. Então, seria a mesma coisa que I'm trying to study. Ou seja, eu tô tentando estudar. I'm trying to. Então esse Trina seria basicamente a forma contraída de trying to. Ok? Então, assim, mm -hmm. não me vem falar isso de forma formal, é uma forma muito informal. It's a contraction, ok? Very mm -hmm. nice, man. Do you have any other examples with that one? Uh, with, with trying to? That's it. Uh, let's see. I could say something like, are you trying to get fired? That's nice. Perfect. Good. <laughs> so, I have another one here. It's like, I think it's It's commonly used, like, all the time. I use it all the time. For example, when I want to express the future, então eu quero expressar o futuro. Então, por exemplo, eu quero falar, meu, eu vou fazer um intercâmbio ano que vem. Em vez de falar, I'm going to go on an exchange, em vez de falar essa forma assim, longa, né? Eu só falo, I'm gonna go on an exchange. I'm gonna go on an exchange. So, instead of saying going to, I just say gonna. Eu só falo gonna. So, I'm gonna go on an exchange, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, another important point to remember with the with this gonna is that it's usually used with a contraction of the verb to be. So I hear, sometimes I hear my students saying like, I am gonna go on a whatever, but here, I mean, that's totally okay for you to say that, but yeah. I would like, since you're already making things, reductions and contractions, why not just say, um, I'm gonna, I'm that's gonna. It. That's it. Então, o que ele acabou de falar, pessoal? Então, já que você já, tipo, reduziu o going to pra gonna, você também reduz o verbo to be. Então, em vez de falar, I am gonna, você fala tudo contraído. Aí ficaria, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. So, I'm gonna go on an exchange. Man, let me tell you about it. A very common mistake that I see Brazilians making. Uh, for example, when they want to say go on an exchange, ou seja, quando ele, o pessoal aqui no Brasil quer falar fazer um intercâmbio, people usually say do an, an exchange or make an exchange. But mm. this is not pretty common. I think that the correct way would be to go on an exchange, right? Yeah, I would say go on an exchange. Então, para você falar fazer um intercâmbio, você não vai falar do an exchange or make an exchange. O correto seria to go on an exchange. To go on an exchange. Então, no exemplo que eu dei, eu falei, I'm gonna go on an exchange. Ok? Mm -hmm. Perfect, mm -hmm. man. So, what's the next one? Can you tell us? Uh, let's see. I've got... I don't know. Do you want me to do, like, the ones that, like people already know or you think people yeah, are like ready talk, for like you can talk about them as well okay all right then um so most people already know about wanna yeah uh, wanna and it's a combination of want and to wanna or sorry wanna that's wanna, it like that so yeah. so i could say i wanna go to the store for example that's it então quero falar por exemplo meu é, eu quero é, eu quero comprar uma casa nova, vamos dizer. O, gramaticalmente falando, né, o inglês ali formal, do papel, você falaria I want to buy a new house. I want to buy a new house. Porém, quando você tá falando ali informalmente, quando você tá ali com o pessoal, tipo, um americano e tal, você não vai falar I want to, você vai falar I want to buy a new house. I want to buy a new house. So it's more natural. You know, so I want to buy a new house. That's it. That's perfect, man. This is very common as well. 
The next one that I would like to talk about here. Oh, that's a good one. Gotta. Gotta. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. Can you write it for us here on the chat? It's because if I use my cell phone, everything is gonna like go to the floor here. <laughs> sure. Here it is. That's it. Então ele tá colocando aqui embaixo, pessoal. Então eu falei, ó, gotta. Gotta seria a mesma coisa que got to. Got to. Have got to, né? Então, por exemplo, quando eu quero falar, é, meu, eu preciso ir embora. Tipo, desculpa, mas eu preciso ir embora. Então, I'm sorry, but I gotta go. I'm sorry, but I gotta go. Ok? So, I'm sorry, tipo, me desculpa, but I gotta go. Então, esse gotta seria a mesma coisa que have got to. Ou seja, eu tenho que. I gotta go. I gotta go. That's it. Ok? Can you give us another example? Uh, sure. I could say something like, um, uh, I gotta wash the dishes or something. Yeah. That's it. I gotta wash the dishes. Ou seja, wash the dishes... I do it every day, man. Really, it's... <laughs> well, you need to come over my house because I've got plenty for you. <laughs> That's it, man. I gotta do it every day. So, wash the dishes. Se o pessoal aqui não lembra, the Brazilian ones, wash the dishes seria lavar a louça. So, que nem ele colocou um exemplo. Ele acabou de colocar aí nos comentários. Uh, I gotta wash the dishes. Seria tipo, ah, eu tenho que lavar a louça. Então, se você for pegar a forma, tipo, inteira, ficaria I have got to wash the dishes. Mas a forma contraída... <laughs> I gotta wash the dishes, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> There are some of your followers here, right? right. Corona gotta yeah. go. That's it. Você, <laughs> yeah. Comentário aí, o Corona tem que ir embora. So, Corona gotta, gotta go. That's it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so, what's the next one? Can you tell us? Uh, sure. Let's see. What about... Um, let's see. Have to changes to have to. Perfect. Uh, it sounds like an F. Half. Uh, have after. to. Perfect. Can yeah. you give us one example? Uh, you can use this in any, in like the same cases that you would use um, gotta. Like I could say I have to wash the dishes or I have to study or uh, they have to wake up early or something like that. You just have to remember that there are two forms of this verb for the present tense. There's have to for I, you, we, and they. And then if you're talking about has to, that's for he, she, and it. So just Perfect. don't forget that. I hear a lot of people mix those up. Perfect. Só para explicar o que ele falou aí, pessoal, ele tá explicando sobre é, uma regrinha que a gente tem, que eu já falei muito também nas minhas aulas. I talk about it a lot here. Então, a gente usa o have to quando a gente tá falando sobre I, you, we, and they. Agora, quando a gente tá falando sobre a terceira pessoa, the third person, não seria have. Have to. Ficaria has to. For example, she has to go. She has to go. Ou seja, ela precisa ir. She has to go. Uh, he uh, has to study. She, he has to study. Ou seja, ele tem que estudar. Então, mm -hmm. pra she, he, and it, has and for the rest of the pronouns have good yeah yeah nice man so i'm gonna talk about another one here let me see uh oh that's pretty common as well i put everything on the laptop here but let me let me for example oh nice mm -hmm. that's it então imagina que eu quero falar assim pessoal eu quero falar tipo meu é, me deixa te ajudar tipo assim me deixa te ajudar então, esse me deixa ficaria let me, let me, right? Mas a forma contraída, the contraction, would be let me, let me. So, let me help you, let me help you. So, me deixa te ajudar, so let me help you. Or, let me give you a hand, let me give you a hand. Então, deixa eu te dar uma mão aí, let me, let me, uh, let me give you a hand. That's it. That's right, man? Yeah, yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, Perfect. Can you give I didn't even think about that earlier. Example? Um, sure. What about, let's see. Uh, okay. Here, we've got this one. Aqui no chat, ó. Ai, que desespero para aprender inglês. So, people are desperate to learn English. <laughs> But English is so necessary here in Brazil. Like, people use it to work, like to travel, to watch movies and series. So, it's something very important, right? What do you have to tell us about it? Uh, about just learning English or about yeah. the next contraction? About the importance of learning English for you. Uh, I mean, 
I think that it's something that I, I, I'm in a position of privilege because English is my first language. So I don't know the gravity of the situation about how necessary English is for everything, for everybody. But from what I hear from my students and from my followers, there's like, it's hard to get a job. It's hard to get into a school. It's hard to find a partner. It's hard to communicate with your, with your kid's teacher if you can't speak English, depending on like where you are. Um, but yeah, definitely if you're trying to, trying to, if you're trying to, to um, contraction. yeah, if you're trying to get a job, um, especially like something that is international or related to um, technology or any kind of international business, it's pretty necessary. That's um, it. Yeah, it's hard to, to get around that. Yeah. Então, o que, que ele falou aqui, galera? Só para o pessoal que é mais básico, eu vou explain for the basic ones. Ele yeah, acabou de falar que é assim, ó. É, o inglês para ele, ele não sente tanto tipo, a importância porque ele já é um nativo, né? Ele é a primeira língua dele, é a língua... É... Esqueci como fala em português. É tipo a língua que ele nasceu já, tipo, aprendendo. Então, é mais fácil, mas ele também considera que o inglês é muito importante para você viajar, para você arrumar um trabalho melhor e tudo mais. That's nice, man. Perfect. So, what would be the next one? Qual seria o próximo aí? Uh, the next one is a combination of what did... What did, what did just becomes what, That's what, it. yeah. Can you give um, us one example? Yeah, uh, for example, uh, hmm, what they say. Uh, so it sounds like what did they say, and it'll just be what they say, what they say. So instead of say. what did they say. Mm -hmm. That's it. What they say. Ou seja, o que, que é isso? What they say. A gente aprendeu aqui, né? É, até nas minhas aulas, se você assistir minhas aulas, que para formar o past, the simple past, a gente usa o did. What did they say? Ou seja, o que, que eles falaram? What did they say? Mas uma forma contraída podia ser what they say. What they say. Então, é uma forma informal. Não considere isso como formal, pelo amor de Deus. É tipo, só quando você está conversando ali, you're talking to people. So you say, what they say. What they say, it's pretty common, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's nice, yeah. man. Perfect. So, what is like what you did? So, what they say. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, another one here. Uh, let me see. Okay. Uh, gimme. Gimme. Do you remember this oh, one? Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> so, the verb give é o verbo dá, né? So, give, give to. Então, a forma contraída desse verbo seria give me. Aí o exemplo que eu coloquei aqui, ó. For example, imagine that you meet a new person, ok? You like the person and you wanna ask the person's phone number. Isso aqui é o número da pessoa. Aí você vai lá, tipo, assim, meio tímido. Uh, Could you give me your phone number? <laughs> a little shy. Could you give me your phone number? So, give me é a mesma coisa que give Ok? Give me. So, give me. Could you give me your phone number? It's very common. Is it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, I guess I'm gonna piggyback on what you said. All right, so we have another possible contraction here. Tell me. So, with the could you, it becomes could you. Oh, yeah. Perfect. So, could you give me? <laughs> you I can't imagine me? asking like this. Could you, could you give me your phone number? Uh, could you give me? I feel like usually when we use gimme, it's more of a command. Um, yeah. So you could say, give me your money or give oh, me yeah, more time true. or something é like that. Quando a gente está solicitando, né? Então, por exemplo, uh, give me your cell phone number. I'm ordering. <laughs> it's like yeah. a command, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. You could do that. Um, Yeah, I mean, and it doesn't have to sound like like so forceful either. You could say like, hey, oh, sorry, I meant to text you. Give me your phone number so I can text you later or something like that. Uh, and it doesn't have to sound like you're being a jerk or anything. That's it. Então ele falou assim, ó, 
give me your phone number so I can text you later. Give me, então, give me, give me, give me your phone number so I can text you later. Então, tipo, me passa aí seu telefone, né, seu número de telefone, pra eu te mandar mensagem depois. So, I can text you later. That's perfect, man. Good one. Do you have any other ones there? Yeah, but before I get to that, there's somebody um, here who's asked a couple of times, is there any difference about the pronunciation of the article A? It kind of depends on when you're using it. If you're really focusing on it and you are, uh, I don't know, just thinking and trying to highlight this topic, then yes, you can say A. But in all other cases, you're going to hear people say A. Uh, We're just going to use that really relaxed sound. Uh, 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 so no. you could say, I have a car. Do you have a car? Uh, not a, do you have That's a it. car? But it would be, do you have a car? Yeah, I just wanted to address that really quick. Um, let's see, there's another one that's kind of related to this could you thing. Um, so we've got could you. We've also got did you, which becomes did you. I don't even know how to spell this. Did you? Or something like that. Ó, oh, ele tá yeah. explicando, pessoal. Ele já tá colocando aí embaixo o que ele tá falando. Então, ó. Did you? Que a gente usa pra falar sobre o passado. Pra perguntar alguma coisa no passado. Por exemplo, eu quero te perguntar, vamos supor. É, você foi pra festa? Eu vou te perguntar isso. Aí seria. Did you go to the party? Mas aí tem a forma contraída. Can you explain us this contraction? Sure. So, um, if you're talking about going to a party, you could say, did you go to the party? Um, hey, Ju. <laughs> Or Ju. I have, I have a friend here named Ju. So really? It's almost, That's like, nice. it's almost like we're talking about her right now. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> That's, That's it. Uh, so here, yeah. did you go to the party? Did you, did you, did you go to the party? Seria a forma mais... É a forma completa, né? So, did you go to the party or did you go to the party? So, it's a little different. Very mm -hmm. nice, man. Great. Perfect. So, let me see if I find another one here. We yeah. have... Oh, that's nice. So, we have uh, the expression out of. Out of. Mm -hmm. For example, imagine that I would like to say... Tipo, eu não consigo tirar ela da cabeça, cara. Então, eu poderia falar, I can't... Uh, let me put here, get her out of my mind. I can't get her out of my mind. Out of. Agora a gente pode pegar a forma contraída desse out of, que ficaria out of. Então, for example, I can say, I can take her out of my mind. That's it? Yeah, I can't, I can't get her out of my mind. Yeah. That's it, get her out of my mind. Então, em vez de falar esse out of, ficaria out of. Aura. I can take her out of my mind. That's it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you yeah, have any other examples it. with that one? Um, with Aura? Actually, with I was Aura, talking I about... I was talking to one of my, <laughs> one of my students. Uh, he was using this. Let's see. He said, she beat the crap out of me. <laughs> <laughs> she beats the crap out of me. So what does yeah. it mean? O que, que isso significa? Vamos ver a explicação dele. Let's see. Oh, uh, it means that she hit him really hard. She was beating him up. She was fighting him and he was losing. She beat the crap out of him. That's it. Então ela brigou com ele, né? So she beat the crap out of him. That's it. Out of, out of. Então em vez de out of, out of, out of. Ok? Mm -hmm. That's nice. Let me see. Vamos ver o que eles estão falando aqui. Vocês poderiam ensinar a falar os cumprimentos simples, no caso de good morning. So, uh, Aninha, she wants to learn about greetings. But we could do it in another live. A gente pode, pode fazer isso em outra live. E aqui o foco seria as contractions, ok? So, just to explain for, for people who are watching here. Galera, se vocês tiverem qualquer ideia aí, se vocês quiserem aprender alguma coisa, manda uma mensagem aí no direct pra mim ou pro Teacher Chris, que aí a gente coloca nas nossas listas aqui de live, quem sabe semana que vem ou na outra semana seja o seu tópico, ok? That's nice. So, do you have any other ones there? Uh, there's one last one. Um, I have, what did you? So here we're kind of combining two things that we talked about earlier. So we have what did, which becomes what, 
and did you becomes ju. So here, if you put those together, it becomes wa ju. Yeah, wa ju. So for example, I could say wa, or let's see, wa, I'm trying to type it. I don't even know how I would type it. Wa ju do um, um, uh, so last yeah. night. Chris can do a lot of things at the same time, typing and answering the questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, o Matheus falou, galera, que ele tá fazendo várias coisas ao mesmo tempo. Ele tá escrevendo, ele tá falando, ele tá pensando, ele tá criando. Oh, shit. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> so, that's it. Uh, so, yeah. here, a gente tem a perguntinha, what did you, né? What did you? Aí, a forma contraída, a forma, tipo, informal ali, de você falar a mesma coisa, quando você tá conversando alguém ali infor informalmente. Can you say that for us? What, what was the example? Oh, What'd you do? What'd you do last night? What'd you do? What'd you do? What'd you do last night? What'd you do last night? Então, em vez de falar what did you do, what'd you do last night? That's perfect. Mm -hmm. Então, essa é mais uma contração. It's another contraction. Very nice, man. So, I ran out of contractions here as well. <laughs> That's okay. Falei sobre todas. That's it. Uh, pra quem tá assistindo, eu vou mandar todas essas contractions que a gente falou aqui no canal do Telegram. Então, se você não tiver no canal do Telegram, vai na minha bio aqui e entra lá que eu vou mandar todos os exemplos aqui, tudo certinho, ok? Very nice, man. So, before we wrap up with this live, uh, let me just ask you some questions about what is going on, like what's happening in the US. Like, how is mm -hmm. it? Is it like crazy? How is the situation there? Um... You know, I always, I always like wonder how I should answer this question just because like, I feel like, I feel like we're on the news and you know how the two people are on the news. Well, we're going to go to Mateos and ask him how things are going. Well, Mateos, today we're, it's, it's ridiculous. Like here, it, honestly, it's not really that, that crazy. Like if you, if I walk outside of my house, I'm not going to have to like, put on like armor and stuff like that like it's it's pretty crazy crazy in the media um just because you're gonna see like the worst of everything that's happening definitely yes there have been a lot of protests and the coronavirus stuff sucks um but hopefully we're just gonna move forward like i'm not like afraid to leave my house um even though i'm extremely anti-social uh uh as long as like people are being smart about what they're doing so like wearing a mask when they should and trying to avoid getting in each other's space and stuff like That's that it. então o que, que ele falou aqui pessoal just to explain for the students here então é, ele tá falando que lá, tipo, a, as notícias, elas, tipo, parecem bem piores, mas não quer dizer que não tá acontecendo, tá acontecendo os protestos, tá acontecendo tudo isso do coronavirus, porém, ele tá fazendo o que ele pode, ficando em casa, e as pessoas deveriam fazer o mesmo. That's what he has just said. Uh, let me see here in the comments. Matheus, you should definitely come and visit to see for yourself. Man, I'm planning to come to the U.S. as soon as possible. I would like okay. to visit California. I would like to mm -hmm. visit... Uh, it's, you're in Nashville, right? I'm in Nashville, yeah. Perfect. Maybe I can visit you. Let's see. Man. Maybe, but nobody really... <laughs> nobody, whenever I hear that people are visit, like going to the United States from some other country, I never hear them say like, I'm gonna go to Nashville. No, absolutely not. You have to go to like San Francisco and LA and like Miami and New York. Like those are like the four that you definitely... That's that everybody it. visits, you know, That's like it. here, you know, we don't have a beach in Nashville. So I feel like it's kind of, I don't feel like it's a waste of time, but like, there are I better places, be beach, you know? Yeah. I mean, gosh, I'm talking trash about my own city. Like, this no, is but... a great place. <laughs> I, I... <laughs> no, like it's, it's a great place, but. Like, especially now with, like, all of the entertainment just, like, being canceled. Nashville is famous for music and, and, and its concerts and things. Since we're not going to be able to have 
any of those for a long time. I feel like it would be better to go somewhere else where you can enjoy other stuff. So, Perfect. You know. Então, o que, que ele falou, galera? Ele falou que... Eu falei assim, meu, provável que eu vou pra Nashville te visitar. Ele falou, meu, eu acho que tem lugar melhor pra você ir. <risos> tem Miami, tem San Francisco, tem New York. Mas, meu, I, I'm definitely going to the U.S. as soon as I can. I, I don't know the exact place, but I'm going to go. Então, aqui, galera, quando eu falo as soon as possible, quer dizer o quê? O mais cedo possível, tipo, as soon as possible. Assim que eu puder, I'll go to the U.S. as soon as possible. Vamos ver o que a galera tá falando. Uh, uh, Nashville is not land of rock. I want to visit someday. Can you answer that one? <laughs> Yeah, um, so it's, they call Nashville Music City. Um, it's most famous for its country music, but there's like all kinds of country music, or there's all kinds of like different kinds of music all over the place. So Perfect. you can find pretty much anything here. That's it. Aí aqui, ó, colocaram a, a contraction, né? A contração de as soon as possible. Quando você tá mandando um e-mail, por exemplo, sei lá, você tá, tipo, falando alguma coisa pra alguém, você pode ver essas quatro letras aí, ó. A, S, A, P. A, Z, A, P, né? Que a gente fala em português. Seria a mesma coisa que as soon as possible, ok? Então, quando eu quero falar, por exemplo, meu, é, eu vou te responder o mais... Tipo, rápido possível. I, I, I'll reply your message as soon as possible. That's the expression. Very nice, man. And tell me, do you have any plans to come to Brazil? I want to someday. Like, especially, like, when, uh, when all this, like, pandemic stuff stops. Hopefully, I'll have enough money just, like, saved up to, like, go to a few places there. Um, I have a student from Sao Paulo, and he's like, yeah, you totally have to... Um, you have to come visit and like, I can go with you and because he lives in San Francisco and he's always talking about like how he wants to go to carnival and stuff. And I'm like, well, maybe someday. And he's like, nope, you have to, you have no excuse. So I'm like, you uh, must come okay. <laughs> That's it. Uh, então, galera, ele falou que ele tem plano sim para São Paulo, assim que acabar a pandemia, talvez ele vai se organizar lá para vir. But I'm here, né? Very nice, man. That's awesome. Very good. And tell me, uh, which places have you already been to? Have you ever uh, already traveled abroad, like to Australia or somewhere like this? Ooh, Australia would be cool, but it's so far from here. It yeah, it's kind of long far. Um, so I've been to where, like... Uh, I've been to Costa Rica and Panama and Colombia and Canada and um, Togo, West Africa. Nice. Yep. Hey, Aida. Here, there's a question here that um, has come up a few times and I want to address it. Someone's asking What's about, What's you can say. about ain't. Uh, and honestly, I never use that word like I really don't like if I don't know I think it's because of how my uh teachers treated that word like Thanks. teachers and anybody in authority like they hate that word they feel like it's the worst contraction that ever existed só But, pra explicar pra galera aqui ó yeah. ele tá falando sobre a uh, contraction a contração end And. Ele tá falando que os teachers dele, ele nunca usou porque, é, tipo, eles consideram uma contração horrível. Por exemplo, se eu falar, eu posso falar, tipo, não é legal. It ain't cool. It ain't cool. Então, tipo, não é legal. It ain't cool. But it's not common there, right? Well, no, I wouldn't say that it's not common. It's just something that I don't say. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know, maybe it's just me. But um, you'll definitely hear it, like, Yeah, you could, what's, ain't, what's something that I would say? See, I just, I, I'm having to think this hard because I just, I never say it. But other people do. You definitely will hear other people say it. Então, ele falou que ele não usa por motivos particulares, mas outras pessoas utilizam. Então, por exemplo, se eu fa quero falar, meu, eu não, uh, tipo, eu não, eu não, tipo, vou, uh, I ain't coming, I ain't coming. Então, tipo, eu não, 
vou, né? Tipo, pra algum lugar. So, I am coming. Perfect. Nice. So, let me see here other questions. Vamos ver outras perguntas. Pessoal, aqui, o pessoal que me segue, podem mandar perguntas aí, que agora vamos separar um tempo aqui pra responder tudo que vocês quiserem. Seja da live, das contractions, ou sobre qualquer pergunta de inglês. Podem mandar aí. Uh, let me see here. Chris, I love you. People love you here in Brazil. <laughs> I know, isn't that sweet? You, I love you, Chris. Let me see. <laughs> Do you know who is English with? It's your friend? Yeah, yeah. This is my best friend. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Uh, yeah. So She's also an English teacher. So Yeah, I can tell. If you guys are following English teachers, totally. Well, yeah. I guess it's not hard to see that she's an English teacher. But, uh, yeah. People she... know here. Chris, you should learn Portuguese next. Você devia aprender em português. What do you think about Portuguese? Do you think that it's difficult, easy? What do you think? Um, I guess it's... So I already know... Uh, oh my God, Aida is totally lying. Do not believe Aida. <laughs> oh, She's a melhor a... amiga <laughs> dele mandou aqui nos comentários. Chris <laughs> speaks perfect Portuguese. Ele fala inglês perfeitamente. I do not. <laughs> Oh, no, I do. Don't. You know anything in Portuguese like bom dia, boa noite? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I understand. I've understood everything that you've said so far in your in your like interpretation that you've been doing so far. Um, but I just never, I never speak it because like here, like I'm all, whenever I'm in class with my students, like we're not speaking Portuguese, and of course, like here at home, I'm not going to be. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to be uh, speaking Portuguese with anyone here because I speak English at home. But uh, so that's why I say I don't speak Portuguese because I don't like I don't speak, never do. Understand, right? Você não fala, mas você entende. That's it? Yeah. Well, I mean, gosh, I don't know. I'm getting too technical now because I'm like, I have the ability to do it, but I just don't. It's like oh, saying, it's Maybe like saying, like, can I'm... you versus do you? <laughs> I get... Take a look. If you get a Portuguese partner, you will learn real quick. I'm just looking at Aida's <laughs> message. We didn't. <laughs> Never mind. Ok, yeah. Yeah, we totally do it all the time. That's it. Galera, olha o que ele acabou de falar. Ele acabou de falar assim, ó. Never mind, never mind. Ou seja, quando você utiliza essa expressãozinha, never mind, é como se fosse tipo, ah, deixa pra lá, deixa pra lá. Never mind, never mind. Tipo assim, ele ia falar alguma coisa, mas ele, tipo, meu, não nem vou falar, deixa pra lá. So, never mind. There is a song, never mind, right? I have no idea. I'm so yeah, bad with like... Is. Let me see here. Vou achar a música aqui, never mind, pra vocês verem, ó. Never mind. It's yeah, a great no, song. No. I listen to it almost every day. Really? Okay. But you don't know who it's by? Sorry? But you don't know who it's by? Who the song that. is by? Or who the, uh, the art, or the, yeah, who the artist is for the song? Nope. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> But never mind. No it's idea. a great song. Eu vou deixar depois aí pra vocês escutarem, mas é muito bom. Very nice. Vamos ver o que estão falando aqui, ó. Uh, beleza, beleza. É, o meu pessoal parece estar com vergonha. My, my followers, they always ask a lot of questions. But today, they disappeared. Eles desapareceram daqui. <risos> Hello, Caio. Cadê vocês? Cadê as perguntas? I want questions. Aí, ó, falaram aqui também sobre Dennis Lloyd. Are you learning Russian as well? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm learning some Russian. Um, it's, uh... Better than, well, no, it's not as good as my Portuguese, but, uh, yeah. So, like, I'm, there's, there are a couple of videos on my page of me, like, speaking Russian. Um, yeah, it's, it's another one of those things where I'm, like, learning, but I don't, like, put myself out there to, like, speak with other people. So, like, I need to, that's the next step, you know? <laughs> É, você tá aprendendo, mas ele não tá falando, é isso que ele quis dizer. Man, thanks a lot, really. We appreciate it. It's, it was cool to have you here. And let's see, we can do more of them in the future. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, let's do it. 
Yeah, oh my gosh, so, Aida is like totally... You gotta go, right? Oh, galera, eu vou usar a pontuação, ó. Em vez de falar, you have to go, eu vou falar, you gotta go. Eu acho que ele tem que, porque ele tem uma aula. You have a class now, right? Yeah, in a few minutes, in a couple minutes, I've got um, a nice. class that I'm So, gonna... I will let you go, but thank you. And do you want to say bye? <laughs> Yeah, uh, thanks everybody for watching. I hope that it was useful. Um, check out, uh, Mateus, you said that you have a Telegram channel that you're going to put all this information on, right? Perfect, I have. Yeah, so, so yeah, check out his Telegram stuff, and I guess I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Very nice. See you, man. Have a great class. All right, thanks, buddy. See ya. See you. Perfect. Isso aí, galera. Falando inglês pra caramba, hein? O que vocês acharam? Mandem aí no, no chat o que vocês acharam. Vocês curtiram? E o pessoal que tava com vergonha aí de, de perguntar, pode perguntar aí que eu vou responder agora. Let's see that. What did you think about it? Did you like it? Very nice. Eu vou começar a trazer mais, mais nativos aí. Começar a trazer mais ativos, porque fica mais dinâmico, né? O pessoal, vocês veem, se vocês têm acesso ao inglês real, né? Não é aquele inglês, que nem eu falo, que é sempre aquele inglês adaptado, né? Eu quero que vocês tenham acesso ao inglês que é realmente falado. Não aquele inglês que você vê aí, tipo, em alguns cursos, que é, tipo, totalmente adaptado. O teacher fala devagar, é, ele, tipo, fala tudo separadinho. Você viu que eu ensinei contractions hoje. Contractions está totalmente ligado ao inglês real. Eu tirei o Ox, mas agora eu não consigo ler nada. <risos> Ó, oh, vamos ver aqui, ó. Uh, o pessoal tá curtindo a live. Thank you, guys. O Caio curtiu. Amei a live. Thanks, Ada. I think it's like this that you pronounce it. Uh, mandei até coisas aqui. Eu vi, Caio. Very nice. Cara, eu vou postar, ó. Quem perdeu, quem chegou depois, ou quem é, quiser assistir de novo, eu vou deixar essa live salva, tá? Eu vou deixar ela no IGTV, no IGTV aqui no perfil do Insta, e vou... Colocar ela no YouTube também. Então, se você quiser ver de novo depois para ver a pronúncia das palavras e tudo mais, para rever o conteúdo, eu vou deixar nessas plataformas aí. Uh, cara, você está falando, mas eu não consigo pronunciar. E set? Set? Crow? Não sei como pronunciar seu nome. Eu sempre escuto o som do artigo de duas maneiras. Sim, cara, dependendo da que nem ele falou. Quando você quer enfatizar, o pessoal utiliza de uma forma, mas há sempre a forma mais natural. Tipo, I have a car. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Uh, então, esse A uh, seria, uh, seria a forma normal. I have a house, I have a car, I have a, an apartment, ok? Very nice. Então, galera, se você é novo aqui, se você nunca tinha é, participado de alguma das minhas aulas, elas acontecem toda terça e quinta-feira. As terças, elas são aqui no Instagram, sempre terça às 19h57 eu entro aqui. Aí a gente já começa, tipo, ali pra, pelas 8 a gente começa. E as quintas-feiras no YouTube. Então, se você não tá cadastrado no meu canal no YouTube, vai lá no link da bio e se cadastra, fechou? Se cadastra não, se inscreve, né? Subscribe. E, fora tudo isso, lá no Telegram eu tô mandando todo dia algumas dicas também. Eu sempre aviso quando eu vou entrar em live. Então, se você quiser entrar no canal do Telegram, vai ser top também. O pessoal tá falando, eu fiquei feliz porque eu entendi praticamente tudo que ele falou. Então, só tenho que agradecer por isso. Cara, perfeito. Congratulations. Tá top, cara. Isso aí. É... E vi que não é só eu que não... É, tipo, esse... Ele é até comum, tipo, no inglês muito informal, mas tem gente que não gosta. Eu comecei a seguir você hoje, adorei. Valeu, Ingrid. Thank you. Very good. So, that's it for today. I hope you liked it. Uh, I'll be back here, here now, on YouTube on Thursday. On Thursday at 8 p.m., I'll be there. So, don't miss it. Então, você quer falar, não perca, don't miss it, ok? Então, quinta-feira, tô lá no YouTube e tô todos os dias lá no Telegram me comunicando com vocês. I hope you liked it and see you on the next one. Bye, bye!